What's up people, my name is Deathbringer and welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3 Search and Destroy action today. I'm running on the map Hard Hat and I absolutely love this map, it is one of my favourite maps in Call of Duty. It's just an absolutely, you know, just epic. You, you just, you can rush, you can, you can camp, you can do whatever you like and it generally is a fast paced kind of style map. Yeah, I'm using the G36C Assault Rifle today. Ended up getting 15 kills and finishing the game flawlessly. And that for me is a great achievement, you know. That is something to be proud of. Any S&D player can go out there and, and and get kills. But to finish the game flawlessly, that is something seriously that you guys and, and myself should should hold highly in, in your own head. You know, that is something cool. You know, you, you can say, I went into an S&D public matchup and, and just simply didn't die. That shows and, and that tells me that you out uh, you outplayed the enemies you uh, you outfought them and you got that victory in in true rushing style or you know whatever tactic you employed so yeah that is the gameplay it is what it is and i hope you enjoyed the video i want to get into some more s and d tips and tricks today i know a lot of you out there have been asking for my help once again and these videos for me are, are what my channel's all about i love teaching you all i love inspiring you all and as long as i'm getting the great feedback and the great ratings i will continue to to stick around you know i will continue to try and give my wisdom and, and experience um yeah so this one today is a little bit of a shady tactic in the s d community I don't know how many people will admit this one, but the saying goes like this. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And what that basically means is your teammates are there for a purpose. Sometimes in Search and Destroy, maybe when you're playing solo, you, you cannot rely on your teammates. And there is a little bit of a, <laughs> a shady tactic here that can be used to your advantage to sort of get yourself more kills and get yourself a little bit more of a chance to win the game. So when you go into an S and D match and, and you assess your, your enemies and you assess your teammates, sometimes your enemies aren't always going to be the greatest and, and your teammates aren't always going to be the greatest. But if you're feeling like you're the only player in the lobby that that is getting kills, then this little tactic right here can help you out and what you have to do simply is sometimes let your teammates go first and what actually happens is they distract the enemy maybe they get shot at maybe they get killed but if you follow in into a room or or down a route right behind them they will get distracted and and you will get the kill now i want to know if you've experienced this yourself and it's not something that I go into a match thinking. I don't always go and say, right, I'm going to let you all go first. I'm going to see what you can do. And hopefully I'm going to pick off a few people. No, that is not the 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 um, goal right here. The, the goal is to win. And unfortunately, sometimes people have to make sacrifices, whether they know it or not. Um, you'll see it in a lot of my gameplays. Sometimes I let people go forward. And a lot of the mistakes made in, in Search and Destroy gameplays that I see on YouTube is sometimes that when you let people go forward, they actually take all of the kills. And there is nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. The victory is the victory, you know. That's what you wanted. But for YouTubers and, and, and gameplay gatherers or whatever you want to call them, that's a little bit of an annoying thing, you know. You see a lot of people complaining about how you know, teammates took all the kills and all this, but I don't generally ever complain about that. That is your own mistake, you know, you should have, you know, grown some balls and, and run forward yourself, and that's the decision you have to make. So, that's a little bit of a tactic right there. I, I wouldn't rely on that, but it's another wrinkle in your Search and Destroy game that might give you a little bit of a level up on someone else. So, I will thank you all for watching. Tell me what you thought about this commentary. And I will see you all later. Have a nice day. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!